Ha 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 ha! Hey, why did little Timmy tiptoe past the medicine cabinet? He didn't want to wake the sleeping pills! Ha 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 ha! Sleep. Cheap. Deep. Deep. Sleep. <laughs> Breda, the monster who liked her own fart, created by Christopher Hutchinson. Once upon a time, there was a monster named Freda, who was proud of her farts. Her farts were more stinky than the stinkiest of stinky cheeses. Freda's farts were more rancid than a ten-door outhouse. Freda's farts were also very, very loud, a fact that made Freda so proud. Freda's farts were louder than a howler monkey convention. Freda's farts were louder than a crying baby with a megaphone. All the other monsters in town agreed that Freda's farts were indeed the worst farts, although no one understood why she was so proud of them. One day a new monster came to town named Andrew, who told everyone that his farts were the worst in all the land. That's not true, said Freda. Mine are by far the worst farts in the world. I disagree, said Andrew. I challenge you to a contest. Andrew went first. He stood on a rock and let off his rocket. He farted so loudly that all the windows in the town square cracked. Ha, said Freda. I can do better than that. Without even trying, she farted so loud that all the fainting goats fainted two towns away. I'm just getting warmed up, said Andrew, as he fired another shot so loud it made Thunder jealous. Freda would not be outdone. She held her breath and made her worst fart yet. The force of her fart was mighty as heck. It lifted her high in the sky. As Freda drifted through space, she had a smile on her face. She had won. Once upon a time, there was a monster named Freda who was proud of her farts. Stick! Stick! Ninja kick! Hiya! Craig the Monster with Stinky Poop Breath Created by Christopher Hutchinson Once upon a time, there was a monster who went by the name of Craig. People liked Craig well enough, as long as he was standing far away. Close up was another story, because Craig's breath stank. Craig's breath stank worse than a pile of old rotting fish. It stunk more than a mountain of stinky baby diapers. Craig's breath was stinkier than the spray of a giant mutant skunk. It was so bad that nobody ever wanted to be around him. He was one lonely monster. Craig went for a long walk trying to think of what he could do about his problem. He walked and walked and walked and soon found himself in a faraway land. He sat on a log and cried. Why are you crying? asked a strange little red and white creature. Nobody wants to hang out with me because my breath smells like a garbage dump, Craig said. Smells okay to me, said the little man. But to be fair, all I smell is peppermint. You see, me and my people are made of peppermint. So my breath doesn't make you want to barf? It doesn't bother me at all. Why don't you come back to my village? We can play board games and drink milkshakes. Craig accepted the invitation and was taken to a magical village inhabited by tiny peppermint people. In 
instead of board games and milkshakes, Craig scooped all of the peppermint people into a jar. He went home. Now whenever Craig meets a new monster, he pops a peppermint in his mouth. He is very popular. Once upon a time, there was a monster who went by the name of Craig. I am Sneaky Ninja. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, everybody, I got a joke for you. Why do well-behaved dogs float? Because they're good boys. Good boys. Yes, they are, aren't they? They're good boys. <laughs> Rodney the Monster Who Refused to Take a Bath by Christopher Hutchinson once upon a time, there was a monster named Rodney, who refused to take a bath. At first, it seemed harmless. He got a little grungy, and he had a peculiar odor. He would not bath. He would not shower. He would not even wipe his face with a wet towel. Then, he stepped in some dog poop. It did not smell like roses. Rodney still refused to take a bath even though he was starting to smell really bad and looked about the same, the people in his life started treating him differently. He was not allowed to go to monster karaoke with his friends because they did not want to be around such a filthy monster. No restaurant would allow Rodney to eat there because the other customers would lose their appetites. His family had no choice but to throw him out of their cave because his stink was just too much to bear. Who needs family, said Rodney. Not me. By this time, his various scents had attracted lots of flies. They did not mind his smell at all. I have all the friends I will ever need. Rodney fell in some mud, and he still wouldn't take a bath. Everywhere he went, stuff just kept sticking to his sticky, dirty body. Rodney took a nap in the park, and the birds mistook him for a statue. Before long, there was grass growing all over Rodney's body. He didn't mind and still would not even consider taking a bath. Birds began nesting on Rodney, collecting twigs and string and an assortment of trash. Rodney was getting much bigger than he was at the start. This is just more of me to love, thought Rodney. It was getting to be a bit much, but he was a very stubborn monster. Eventually, he grew beyond his own ability to support the weight of his filth. He sat in a field exhausted and defeated and fell asleep. Being mistaken for a pile of garbage, people started adding more and more until you couldn't even see the monster beneath at all. And that is where you can find Rodney to this very day. Once upon a time, there was a monster named Rodney who refused to take a bath. Why did the toilet paper cross the road? It was stuck in a crack. Why is diarrhea a genetic condition? It runs in the genes. Why did the piece of poop go to the hospital? He felt crappy. Did you hear the one about the constipated mathematician? He worked it out with a pencil. It was a number two pencil. Why did the piece of crap take a nap? He was pooped out. What do you if you use the bathroom in France? European. 
What's brown and sticky? A stick. Why can't you hear it when a pterodactyl uses the toilet? The pee is silent. What did the first toilet say to the second one? You look flushed. Did you hear about the piece of poop that ran a marathon? He came in third place. Are ya salty dogs? I got another one for ya! Why'd they have to cancel the pirate poker tournament? Ah, oh, cause a captain was standing on the deck! Arr! Ho 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 ho!